<sighs> Internet, you done fucked up. Hey guys, Jake Anthony here with Project Monkey Man Gaming. I um, hope you guys had a great Easter weekend. I know I did with me and my family. Hope you guys did too. And a few people don't out. Some of you people out there don't celebrate Easter. I um, hope you had a great Sunday. Um, today I'm gonna touch on something important, at least to me. I like to think that we should talk about important things from time to time, not just video games. Um, at least this is is in the tech world, so you know we can relate it to something. Um, I'm going to talk about Tay AI. Um, for you guys who don't know what Tay Tay AI is, um, basically it is a AI chatbot um, developed by Microsoft, um, and it was used on Twitter. So basically, it would act like a person. It was supposed to be you tweet something to uh, Tay AI, and then it would respond to you the way you would do on Twitter. Except that went horribly wrong within 24 hours. Um, the T AI bot was supposed to learn from people, you know, its interactions with people. So when we tweet at it, you know, it it registers it, it computes it, it understands it, and then it makes a judgment on what to tweet back. Well, Microsoft underestimated the shittiness of humanity is what happened. So, it basically started spouting off racial slurs, um, supporting Donald Trump, um, denying the Holocaust, <laughs> stuff like that. And I'm not so much here to bash the program itself. Um, it's a program. It learns from humans. It learns from humanity. And the simple fact that it learns from us. And that's just so sad. If you think you took a simple program, a program that was supposed to be fun, that, you know, you can chat to this program and it's supposed to answer you back and it's going to sit there and respond to you. And then you make it into some racial computer program, racist computer program. It's, it's hilarious, but sad at the same time. Um, I know Microsoft has come out and apologized for its racial slurs and sexist slurs um, also came out and said that um, it was an exploit in the program the repeat after me function that they put into it so apparently users could uh, tell it to repeat after me a tweet and basically it took that information and etched it into its programming or it's to its vocabulary and it knew to say things uh, along those racist lines um, I know they said the people over at 4chan were responsible for it um, they came together and said we're going to um, use this exploit and we're going to basically ruin this idea and I just don't understand it I don't understand why people go out of their way to ruin something and you know it's I don't know if it's just it's just sickening you know and it's funny because um, there's this law called uh, Godwin's law uh, made, made after Mike Godwin uh, I throw his picture up right here it's, that's Mike Godwin um, basically you know what let me read you the, the definition of Godwin's law here it is Godwin's law an internet adage asserting that Quote, as an online discussion grows longer, the possibility of a comparison involving Nazi or Hitler approaches. Um, that is, if the online discussion goes on long enough, sooner or later someone will compare someone or something to Hitler or Nazism. Um, and in 2012, Godwin's Law became an entry in the third edition of the Oxford English Dictionary. So, this is a simple fact that we now have a law kind of like Murphy's Law, you know, stuff like that, written in the Oxford Dictionary saying that if we're on the online long enough or on a, having a discussion long enough, 
that it comes down to Nazism and Hitlerism. Why? Why does? Why do we go there? And we know. We all know. We've been there. And if you've ever read YouTube comments for some big YouTubers, you read the oh go down their comment list. You will read some of the most vile and the most disgusting comments you have ever seen. And if you ever watch the Twitch stream and watch the live chat, um, it will go off the rails and all of a sudden you see Nazi, you see Hitler, all of a sudden you'll see Hitler didn't do it or Hitler was right or just some dumb ignorant shit just like that. And it's, it, I don't know, what is wrong with us as a society if it comes down to that? If it comes down to, you know we can't have an internet discussion long enough to not talk about Hitler and we turned a freaking computer program program that was supposed to learn from us less than 24 hours to talk about Hitler it is just amazing it amazes me that's all I can say humanity is shitty um, I mean I've always believed that at some point we'd we'd uh, racism out completely um, from my perspective I'm still considered a millennial I'm at the very edge of being considered a millennial but I am a millennial um, one second um, can still considered a millennial so I know racism in previous generations were worse and it's gotten better over the years and you know, within our childhood or within our generation, it's gotten less. And I always felt that my child or my children, their generation is gonna be even better. But then when you read some of the shit online coming from millennials, it, it, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's like, we haven't learned nothing. It's like, we like to sit there and just bash each other for race, for someone being overweight, for someone's uh, religion, for someone's, uh, what else is there, uh, gender, the whole Gamergate thing, it's just, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a big, I'm, I'm a small fish in a big pond on YouTube, and I'm sure this video won't get to the masses, and maybe 20, 30 people might see this video, and agree with me they might disagree with me they might be for whatever um for not i don't know i don't i don't know who wouldn't be for people being more friendly more loving more considerate of each other and don't get me don't get me wrong i'm a and i'm an advocate for the first amendment and freedom of speech everyone has the right to say these things and there's nothing wrong with that aspect of it I will defend your right to say what you want to say online it is open and it is free but I think we should be more productive with the things that we say to each other you know instead of putting each other down instead of bashing on people for what does it make you feel better I mean you might get a laugh out of it for what for 20 minutes but then you go on and you make someone else feel shitty for a day, for two weeks, for a month, for a year. You might get in their head. You might cause them to do something that they normally wouldn't do that's bad for them. Uh, I don't know. This whole T-A-I, T ah, I can't pronounce it, T-A-I thing um, really set me off. You know, I read the story and I'm like, man, this has to be a satire piece done by Onion. I was like, when you see something this ridiculous, it has to be an onion piece or a media AV or something, you know, some one of these satire websites. And no, and you start looking around and all of a sudden you see Microsoft apologizing on CNN and you have all these articles coming out. Um, I haven't seen too much reaction from the YouTube people. Well, I just maybe because I haven't looked in many places, but I haven't seen much said about it there. So I'm hopefully, hopefully I can get on it. I don't know, um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm disgusted, man. I'm disgusted by you people, and not all you people. Don't get me wrong, it's not everybody. It's always there's always bad apples in the crowd. Um, and you get you know 50 people in a room, and you know 10% of them are going to be shitty people, regardless. Um, that's just the way it goes. They're just bad people. Um, but man, it's just, 
we can't live in a day and an age that we come up with a simple program to just have fun with and then all hell breaks loose because of it. You want to turn it into some Hitler spouting, Donald Trump loving, um, talking about committing genocide on Mexicans, programming. <laughs> and, and this is the reason why we're not ready for AI either. You know, don't get me started on AI, like true AI. Um, I do not support AI at all. Um, I'm big into the tech world. I love everything tech. I love um, new gadgets, new gizmos, new programming, new software, new games. I mean, we, we know I do games. I like games. Um, but it's much more than that. I love technology. And I think AI is a big mistake on humanity's part. If we can't get a simple program like this to understand what racism is but learn racism and then spout it back at actual people we're not ready we're not ready for it well I don't think we'll ever be ready for a true AI in my opinion that's just me talking I don't think we're ready but some people have difference of opinions and that's fine man like I said I support your opinion I support your right to your opinion to be against my opinion that's fine but don't shout me down for something I believe. And that's another thing. It's another thing the internet just goes crazy about. And this whole culture of just, I'm right and you're wrong. Um, no, that's not how it works. Um, there are two sides to every story. And there, everyone believes that they're right. And that's not the case. That is perspective. From your perspective, you're right. Um, but just because you think you're right doesn't make you right um i just like i don't know if you ever know the, about the game the division or you've been in uh twitch chat rooms about the division people will shit on that game and they'll say that game is horrible it sucks you shouldn't play it you should throw it away and then you'll have some people come out and defend it no you're wrong and the people who said Oh no, that game sucks. It's shouting those people down, calling them morons, idiots, and then Hitler references break out. Um, just because you don't like something doesn't mean someone else doesn't like something. It's just the way the world works. I don't know if it's just a bunch of 14-year-olds, you know, tweeting and chatting. Uh, that's that's what it's like. It's a bunch of 14-year-old little kids who don't have a grasp on humanity, who don't have a grasp on being a person being a grown-up they just don't understand how the world works but I don't know I digress that's just that's a whole topic for another video because I can go on forever about just that culture that overreaction culture of just I'm right you're wrong and because I'm right you're even more wrong and I'm gonna beat that into you and I'm gonna call you out I'm gonna make fun of you I'm gonna come up with some of the most vile disgusting things I can say to you because you know what I'm a shitty person I'm on the internet and I believe since I'm on the internet I'm a keyboard warrior so I'm gonna just fucking make you feel bad oh you keyboards warriors out there man y'all y'all get to me I've never been harassed on here you know, if you've seen my comment section on any of my YouTube videos they've been pretty desolate I've had a few negative comments here and there, but they didn't rub me any of the wrong ways. Um, but some of the other things you see people say to other people, I'm just like, man, you know, say that to me. Come down here to the state of Texas and say that to me. We'll show you how we do it down here. Uh, that stuff doesn't fly. Um, it just gets on my nerves, you know. People calling people out for no reason. You know, all over stupid shit, too. You want to fucking cause... A huge thing over a fucking video game. You want to cause a huge thing over a fucking computer program that can tweet. You know, it's it's amazing how petty the human race is. Um, man, this makes me feel bad. It makes me feel bleak for the future of our society. This is the reason why I say aliens won't come and visit us. You know, not everyone believes in aliens. I believe in aliens, but you know, they keep seeing this childish behavior from us. You know, who the fuck wants to come say hi to us? We're gonna try to, we might think it's a, I don't know. I don't know what we might think it'd be. 
We might just overreact and fucking shoot it out of the sky, which it might have happened already. I don't know. Man, it's just drink drink some water. Uh, I don't know. That's my rant. That's my rant on Tay AI. Tay AI. You know, it was supposed to be this little nice computer program. Uh, people at 4chan took advantage of the exploits. I know Microsoft said they're going to try to uh, close those those loopholes or those you know. I don't know how to say it. I lost my all train of thought right now. Um, those back doors into the program or those vulnerabilities that those that program has. Uh, that should. I don't want to blame Microsoft. I don't want to blame Twitter. It's not Twitter's fault. You know, Twitter ran with the idea of Microsoft. So, you know, it was a bit. It was a gimmick. You know, to help tweet more. You know, it, it was in good business for Twitter. I understand that. Microsoft. I'm not pointing any fingers at Microsoft, but Microsoft should have known, especially with their Xbox Live community, how shitty people can be. <laughs> I'm not saying people over who play Xbox or play Xbox Live or all shitty people but you should know there is a segment of people who play video games who are just the worst people in this world who who just don't get it and and that small percentage that 10% all it takes is 10% it takes 10% to affect change I read that somewhere in a book. It's in a book somewhere. It's in like a, a, a political book. It only takes 10% to affect change. If you have 10% of shitty people getting on something, it ruins it for everybody. It's like they get off on it. They get off on ruining it, ruining shit for people. Why? Why do you get off on ruining shit for people? What do you get out of it? You can't use it anymore. And you take away everyone else's right to use it too. I don't know, man. This is this culture now nowadays. I just I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I understand you people. You know, I come from a mentality of live and let live. You know what? You do you. I do. I'll do me. You know, you go you go on your way. You make your happiness. You find your peace. You do what you do. But don't. As long as it doesn't affect me directly. As long as what you're doing isn't causing me grief you know you can go out and party all you want have sex as much as you want you know eat as much as you want that doesn't affect me i don't care you do you if that makes you happy that makes you happy but if you're one of those i'm gonna get drunk and drive that's different see because that affects other people if you're drunk driving you can hit somebody you can kill somebody that doesn't just affect you. That affects the people around you. You can take a someone's mom. You can take out someone's dad. You can take someone's kids. You know, that affects somebody. And that's what I mean about affecting another person. Or don't let it come into another person's life. You know, just be, other people shouldn't pay for your stupid mistakes. Or your stupid decisions. Or your idiot, idiocracy. And that reminds me of the movie Idiocracy. If you guys haven't seen it, go rent it. Uh, it's a good movie. It's about the decline of, decline of society. And I think they're on to something. If you've seen it, you'll understand. You'll see the patterns, man. There is... The world is just a weird place. And we're in it. And I'm trying to raise a kid in it. And it's scary sometimes. Because... You know, you don't want your kid to be a part of those type of groups. You want your kid to stand up to those type of groups. And I hope I raise a, a young man that way, the way I am. You know, I hated bullying in school. I stood up for the kids being bullied. You know, and at least I could hang my hat on that in high school. There's very few things I could hang my hat on that I did in high school. High school, but I was one of them. Um. Anyways, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, so how you people doing? Um, now that I just put down all of humanity, like I said, it's not all of humanity, it's about 10%. I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, it's not a true statistic that I'm stating that 10% are shitty, are shitty people, but in my opinion, 10%, at least 
10% of shit, our shitty people. But that rule that I was telling you guys about, about the 10% rule affecting change, that is actually a, a true statistic. I read somewhere. I don't know, you might be able to Google it. Um, find where it was said at. I don't know. I don't remember where it was at. But I have some books over here, political books, that I study and like to read and understand the way things work. And um, I read it in one of those books. I don't know. So, um, yeah. So, back to video games. Yay, video games. Uh, Nintendo DS? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Nintendo NX. I, I plan to do a video on Nintendo NX. Um, obviously, with no pictures or illustrations or anything towards the Nintendo brand. Because the Nintendo can get a claim on me. And I do not want that. Um, I am looking forward to Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is coming out. Um, I can't wait for that to come out. Um, yeah, Sun and Moon. Um, video games coming out this year. Uh, the new Final Fantasy. Can't wait for that. Um, what else is coming out this year? Um, Dreadnought. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you know I'm big on Dreadnought. Um, I've actually been playing Dreadnought. Because I'm part of the alpha, closed alpha team, um, alpha testing, Red Knot. So I played it here and there. It's, it's good. Um, not as great as I wanted it to be, but it's good. It's a good game. Um, what else is there? I don't know. Um, I need to do some research of what's coming out this year. I have been slacking in that department. Um... So yeah, um, that's this video. Just um, take what I said with a grain of salt. You know, it's just my opinion, one man's, one YouTuber's opinion. Um, if I upset a lot of people, I'm sorry, but it is my right to say that, and it's your right to be upset with me. Um, but don't kill the messenger. Just telling you the story of the day. So I will see you guys next time. You right there um i'll see you guys next time um if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button down below like and if you will go ahead and want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button down below subscribe 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 um as always this is jake anthony um hope you guys have a great day um go on your business do what you want to do do what makes you happy. Just don't be shitty. That's all I can say. My advice of the day, my advice of the day is go upon the world. Do what you like to do. Be happy. But don't be a shitty person. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. This is Jake Anthony with Project Monkey Man Gaming. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.